Hello and welcome back again. This is Ben with the DIY Homefront and today I'm doing something silly. I'm taking apart an alarm clock. Um, it's the one that sits next to my bed and invariably over the years I have sworn it doesn't go off when I set it and now I think I know why. So I'm just going to take it apart and see if I can fix it and I'll show you what the problem is right now. For the longest time I thought it was me that I would set it at the wrong time or just that I slept through it or I turned it off and didn't realize it and then um, the other day I set it like five times in a row. I've currently got it set to go off at 148 which hopefully will be any, any moment now. There we go. The alarm is on. The current time is 148 and the alarm is set for 148 and the alarm did not go off. So I'm going to turn the alarm off. You go to my alarm and I'm going to add a minute. So now my alarm is supposed to go off at 149 and I'm going to turn it on. Now it went off. Turn the alarm off. Let's go to the alarm and set it for 50. The alarm on. I want you to pay attention to that little red light. If I just bump this a little bit, now the light sort of flickers. There we go. The alarm did not go off, did it? I'm assuming that's what it is. Let's see. A minute. So it's set for 51. If I turn it on and I don't mess with it and that little light doesn't flicker at all, then I think we're golden. No alarm. All right. Let's take this thing apart and see if we can figure out what's going on with that button. Got four screws. And let's see if that got it. There we go. Guess I could take the batteries out, and I guess I could be crazy and uh, unplug it while I'm at it. Because right now it is still plugged in. Need to get to these buttons. See what's going on with them buttons. Let's see, small screw. Sorry, small screw. Too much to that. Okay, nothing exciting there. Nothing exciting there. One, two, three, four, five screws. Sorry, I'm covering stuff up by holding things. here those are the buttons those leads just slide back and forth there is no button not too much to it just some little things I guess maybe and these up I don't know the only thing to do make them push down a lot harder I've got those pushing out a lot more. The best way to do it probably just grab these and push them both up, right? Those are definitely up higher, aren't they? <laughs> they sure makes construction easy, don't they? Keep injected molding. 
another piece of injected molding spray painted silver that on the side goes in a little bit and that's what makes the back and forth I love my native screwdrivers. One, two. One screws are for the outside cover. fits in a groove there's a slot right there see that slot and a groove right there and this ends up this ends up holding two things this looks like it ends up holding both the front Two short screws for this. Where this is all twisted up, but Okay, batteries go back in. Found a hot wheel underneath the stove. How about that? Pretty fancy hot wheel there. Flames, Dodge, pretty nice. Good shape. Time is 2.05, so let's see, we need to set 2.05, yep, and the alarm is set for 2.26, turned on. Alarm is set for 7, let's turn it on. Light doesn't flicker like it did before. It used to flicker when you bumped it. I believe we have fixed this. I love taking apart things already broke because you can't break them. It is fixed. We got it fixed. How about that? 15 minutes, two screwdrivers, and we fixed something. Well, I had fun doing this because now my alarm clock's fixed and I didn't have to buy another one. So it's a win-win for me. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next video.